<clears throat> All right. Uh, well, hello and welcome, you guys. Welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, which means that it is vlog day. I've been looking forward to this day. I was chuckling because my main man, Jeremy V, he made, he made a little funny there in the chat. Yo, yo to all the fishes in the deep blue sea. I saw that. Well, welcome. Welcome to the vlog, everybody. We got a full vlog tonight. All the segments are here, including beer. I have a liquid tasting. I have a retro vaping. I have a bunch of vape mail. I have some news and advocacy stuff that I wanted to talk about. We're going to do favorite comments of the week more towards the end, and we're going to do the super chats. Everybody that does a super chat, all your super chats will be answered very last thing. Very last thing in the vlog. I want to dedicate all the time to the super chat at the end of the vlog, but welcome. Welcome, you guys. I'm stoked to be here. Now, I can't do that thing anymore where I put all the time stamps up here for anybody watching on the replay. But if you are watching on the replay, all the time stamps should be the first pinned comment up there. Depending on when you're arriving, all the time stamps should be pinned right there at the top. And my, my, my main man, Jeremy V., Always takes care of me. I appreciate that, Jeremy V. You bailed me out of a lot of uh, a lot of situations. You just you're just an all around big help. I still owe you. I know what I still owe you. Look, I know what I still owe you, Jeremy V. But I appreciate the work nonetheless. And the first thing I wanted to do is give a shout out to someone who's here tonight. Uh, I just saw this chat in the chat before the stream started, and I want to give a real big welcome shout out to Mister Mister Mrs. Don't know. Shouldn't have assumed. Strawberry Xanax. Strawberry Xanax said, I know I can't wait. This will be my first ever live stream. I have joined ever, and I've been a fan of Grim Green since 2014. Well, Strawberry Xanax, fucking welcome. Welcome to the vlog. It's pretty good times over here. I'm sure some of the people in the chat can attest to that. It's pretty good times over here. So we're going to kick this vlog off. We're going to kick this. Everybody settled in. Everybody got a beverage. Everybody got, I'm assuming, assuming something that produces vapor in front of them. And the first thing we're going to do is, uh, we're going to do that one thing. Hang on. Hang on. This might take, uh, just, might take just, just one hot second here. We're going to do that one thing that is my favorite thing in the vlog since I instituted it. I don't know if I'm using the right terminology there. Since I instituted this in the vlog, it's my favorite thing where I get to hear from one of my subscribers. I think I think his name is Trace. So right now, boom, I'd like to hear from Trace. Throughout the summer and fall, and we are just going to be cranking away on reviews. We're going to be cranking away on vlogs. 18350 Stingray X, the, the Wasp Nano Meg Mod. A lot, but it's Just got to prove it. You said you wanted me to prove it. There you go. Run. And by the way, we're Nick, I always make it to the end of every vlog. Thank you, sir, for everything that you do. Shout out to you. Because everything you do for everybody else, you are awesome. Thank you, sir. You be safe out there. Have a great one. Yeah, Trace, I asked, I, I, don't, I can't remember if it was on YouTube or if it was on an Instagram situation, but Trace had mentioned that he uses the 18350 Stingray with the Wasp Nano, and it's like his, you know, his go-to, like, banger little mech mod, and I was like, no, nah, nobody uses, who uses an 18350 mech anymore? Who? Well, the, the answer right here is Trace. Anyway, Trace, I really appreciate that. Thank you for showing off your gear, and thank you very much very, very much for the kind words. And if anybody else out there watching has a video similar to that that they want to send in or are planning on shooting a video similar to that that they want to send in and be featured at the top of the vlog, you can send them on over to me. It's nick at grimgreen.com. Just mark your subject. That one thing. That one thing you like, Nick. Just put it there. Chances are I'll see the attachment. They, I, I do have a lot. I, ha I should probably go back and... Uh, I should probably go back and show some of the ones that have been sitting. I have some that have been sitting for well over a year, like well over a year, maybe even longer than that. So I do have a bunch to get to, but you know what? I can't say no to more videos, so whatever. Send them on over. Nick, grimgreen.com. Appreciate that. Well, what I'd like to do right now, since it's on my desk and it's not getting any colder just sitting here, I'd like to taste this beer in front of me I just don't know what it is. Uh, and we'll get there when we get there. It's time to taste some beer. No, 
Now this beer, this beer is this beer I believe to be a home brewed beer, and I do not remember who sent me this because I'm a I'm a, a jerk. I'm, I'm rude. I'm forgetful and inconsiderate and I don't write people's names down. And there was one of my very, very gracious subscribers that sent me this home-brewed beer. And if you are the person that sent this to me with electrical tape around the top and a red cap on there, please identify yourself in the chat or in the comments down below because I would like to give you, I would like to give you proper credit for sending me over this delicious beer. Well, look, I'm assuming it's delicious. It could be terrible. It could be awful. This could be the worst beer that I've ever had. In fact, I don't have a bottle opener, but oh, I have something. Where did it go? Where did it go? I have my, where did it go? Aha. Yeah. So, and we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be yelling at Bogan a little bit later as well. Just a, just in a minute. Just when we get to what I've been vaping, I I have, I have to yell at Bogan for a little bit. It's no big deal. Bogan bottle opener. Bogan bottle opener. So let's just open this. Nice. The aroma is that of beer. That's what I always say. I always say that. Does that joke ever really get that funny? I doubt it. I don't think so. The aroma is that of beer. Looks to be uh, amberish in color, although I can't really tell through this. We're going to be pouring this into a Grim Army tulip style glass. We used to we used to sell these over there on the Namber Juice uh, Namber Juice site. Yeah, here we go. It's pouring. Looks like it's going to be a nice summery beer. Look at that. Sort of like uh, opaque looking through there. It's like a real nice amber color. I just like to do this. I like to hold it by the bottom so people get nervous. I have so much stuff on my desk that if I actually spilled this, like I'm goofing around and I <laughs> and I spill it, it would fucking ruin my life. It would ruin everything. It would ruin laptops. It would ruin a stream deck, computers, audio equipment, microphones, cameras. It would ruin all sorts of stuff. So maybe I need to be a little bit more careful. Maybe I need to be a little bit more careful with this homebrew. So I literally have no idea what this beer is supposed to be, what this beer is supposed to taste like. So we're just going to wing it. We're going to freestyle it. Again, Mr. Red Cap, Mr. or Mrs. Red Cap. Who did this beer come from? I don't know. It's all right. Let's give it a try. Hopefully, uh, I shouldn't even say that. <laughs> so hopefully someone's not trying to poison me. Oh, that's very delicious. That's an IPA. It's a it's a really good IPA. Real bright and citrusy up front. I get a little bit of that like hoppy pine notes underneath. It's got kind of a big mouth feel. It's not like a super clean, clean beer. There's a, there's a lot of lingering mouth feel and flavors going on there. Uh, for anybody asking in the chat, there is no Ruby Rue tonight. She is having dinner with her family, and as such, there will be no That's What She Said show tonight. Just want to make that announcement. I know we all look forward to the That's What She Said show. There's just not going to be an episode tonight because people have lives, and you need to take some time off every once in a while. So I, I really like this. This is a nice little IPA. It kind of reminds me of, uh, kind of the first thing that I thought of when I tasted it was there's a company in San Diego, a brewery in San Diego named uh, Green Flash. Green Flash Brewing, Coronado, California, San Diego, California. And they have an, an IPA called Le Freak. Le Freak. It, it really reminds me of this, that real big body, real good IPA characteristics, a little bit of that sweet citrusiness kind of up front. I'm going to enjoy this. Now, the only downside to this is, A, oh yeah, I left all the sediment down there at the bottom. Good call. Good call, Nick. I don't know what the ABV is of this, so hopefully it's not too much. Hopefully we can have a normal vlog but if it is a little high then then we'll have a, a silly vlog where i'll probably break stuff anyway i have no idea what to pair this with literally zero boule bolu maybe a little uh boule bolu action let's try some uh why not let's try some boule bolu with this homebrew
no, I'm not. I'm Rick, Ricky, Ricky Mahoney. I'm not going to force you to do anything. Although we, you know, you can, you can definitely watch the vape team. That's always been an option. I don't know why I just took a big rip like that without, uh, without the beer pairing. I'm like, well, I just want to vape because Bule Bolu is so good. It's not a great pairing. It's not a great pairing. This is very much a case of separately, they're really good together, not so much. And that's really all I have that would work as uh, as a beer pairing. So we're just going to leave that where it is. Thank you to whoever sent the beer. Still don't know who it is. Maybe they'll send in a chat. Maybe they'll send in a super chat. We can get to the bottom of this, of this mystery, delicious sort of amber IPA. Mmm. 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 Okay, so real quickly, what I wanted to talk about is just a few things that I've been vaping. I've been uh I've been all over the place. I've been traveling all over the place, uh, mostly up to Santa Rosa, visit with dad, see dad, take care of dad. He he had surgery recently. He's re- he's recovering as well as he possibly can. The man uh, he will not be kept down. He's a fighter and uh that's that's what I find inspiring and uh, I just love him into the ground. So Everybody, thank you so much for, for all the well wishes. He's doing about as good as he, as he possibly, possibly can right now. And that's where we're at. It's going to be a long, slow road. It's going to be an emotional journey. It's going to be an expensive journey. It's going to be a lot. But uh, it's just something, you know, we've talked about this before. It's just something I have to do. I have no choice. I have to do it. I'm doing it for my family, and that's why we're doing it. So he, he's doing real well. Uh, he, he's doing as well as can be expected. And in and 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 because of that, I haven't been like setting stuff up and taking stuff down. I've just been vaping through stuff. And like when a coil head dies, I'm like, nope, don't have time for that. Just whatever, keep going on another mod. Like I have piles of stuff that is just, it just needs like to be rewicked or refilled or or something like that. Something like that. Here's what I got in front of me. Oh, I can't even show. Okay, we'll do this. You saw this already? Got a review for this up on the YouTube, up on the Instagrams, up on the Facebooks. It's kind of all over the internet. Yeah, the Vupu Find S kit. It's not especially that I just love this thing. It's that there's Bole Bolu in it, and I'm not just going to throw away Bole Bolu. Like, that's just not a thing that's going to happen. So it's a perfectly good coil head, so I just keep vaping it because it vapes pretty rad. The Bully Bolu tastes really good in here. Just really overall a very delicious vape. Vaporesso Gen mod. You guys, this Vaporesso Gen mod is, is my mod of the year. It's my regulated mod of the year. I just love the crap out of it. I did run into some, I did run into something interesting last night. Uh, it asked me, I attached a really low resistance um, tank on here, 0.09 dual coils. And I thought this will definitely run it. 0.09 dual coils. I can put, I can adjust the voltage to like right around four volts, and it should just explode in my face with vapor. It did not explode in my face with vapor. It it restricted the the wattage way down, and I couldn't figure out. And I'm like, okay, well maybe the vapor so gen just doesn't fire a 0.09. And then it asked me, do you want to play? Do you want super player mode on? And I was like, no, no super player. But now that I think about it. To fire down to a .09, you might need to use the super player mode. So either way, it's still, you know, it's just a big learning experience. Cannot show you what's on top. I will say this though. It's not my RTA. It's not the dang RDA. It's something completely new and different that I just can't show you yet. Oh God. But it's a, uh, it's fire. Anyway, Vapor SO Gen, loving that. Still on this Wismec Tinkerer 2 kit with that Golem RDA. And I know I keep saying it wrong, Golem RDA. I really like this RDA, and I don't know why. It reminds me of the Goon. It reminds me of the Goon if the Goon had more airflow. If you've ever been a Goon person and you're like, the Goon just simply does not have enough airflow for my cloud chasing needs. The Golem will definitely have enough airflow for your cloud chasing needs. It is loaded up with Poet Sweet Black Tea. This bottle is empty. Like, literally, it just... 
God, what a what a terrible sound of an empty bottle. I hate that. But I think there's enough liquid on these coils to give it uh, one real big pull. In fact, I might as well use that one real big pull to do a beer pairing, because why not? Okay, yeah, that's not that great. Not that great. Kind of wasted that pull. I dig this. I dig this. I dig this mod. This Wismec Tinkerer 2 mod. I kind of like it a little bit more than the Aegis. The Aegis? The Aegis? Aegis? From Digiflavor Geek Vape? I kind of like this thing a little bit more. Feels a little bit more durable. Feels a little bit more rough. Feels a little bit... Feels a little bit more substantial, and with an RDA on top, it's just a, it's just a real durable uh, durable setup, and plenty of power. Holy crap, plenty of power! So, lastly, believe it or not, lastly, the thing that I'm vaping is that I, this is the one that I have to yell at Bogan at. I'm gonna yell at Bogan, fucking Bogan. What the fuck, Bogan? It's this. It's the Blotto. It's the Blotto RTA sitting on top of the Unicorn uh, Vapes single 21700. This is the .09 coil sitting on a 21700 mech. Oh. I set this up in the... Uh, oh. Sorry. Oh, there's no, there's no that's what she said. There's no Jess tonight, so I have no burp competition. So I'm just going to keep them going. I set this up in the... Uh, Instagram Patreon live stream the other day and it's just really good. It's stupid good. It's it's like one of the best RTA vapes I may have ever had ever. And I don't know if everything just came together perfectly for me. It's like that combination, you know when you get that winning combination that's like coils that just rule and you wicked it perfectly and you have your favorite liquid in there and you just vape it and all of those things coalesce and just become this wonderful vape experience that was my experience with the blotto i literally couldn't shut up about it i kept just saying yo yo you can attest to this i just kept saying holy shit bogan holy shit bogan Anyway, I got this loaded up with Ben uh, at Guava Lemonade. This is just an amazing juice. And there's a picture of a doggo on the front. The flavor is great. The airflow is great. The build deck, a little bit weird. A little bit tight. Close quarters in there. It's a little bit of a claustrophobic deck IMO. This is dual coils in here. And there are two uh, uh, Dirty Bird coils. I don't know if anybody's hip to the Dirty Bird coils, um, but he had sent me some coils, so I threw them in here. They're fused Claptons. They're crackly. This thing is wicking like it, it, flawless. I can't even, it's perfection. It's flawless the way that this is wicking. And then the overall vape experience that you get from it it's killing me, Bogan. You know, I'm trying to release an RTA of my own, Bogan. Holy shit, this thing is good. I can't. I can't. I can't. I just want to sit here and vape this Blotto RTA. And I'm not even like... Look, I'm not just trying to blow smoke up Bogan's ass because I like the guy. I wanted this RTA to be legendary and it has not let me down in any capacity. The fit and finish, beautiful. The top fill, beautiful. The deck, a little claustrophobic. Easy to wick, easy to fill. It's a great, great vape experience. So I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off at Bogan. I'm pissed off at Bogan because this is so good. It's too good. He killed it. He killed the Blotto. Have I said enough nice things about the Blotto? Holy crap, the Blotto is rad. I'm going to stop now, but I'm pissed off at Bogan for releasing such a good RTA. And I know that doesn't make much sense, but it kind of does in my head. The airflow, even full open, is slightly restricted, which I really like. It wicks. These coils in here are just crackling to life, like just... I love a crackle. 
I love a crackle and the crackle from these coils is Holy shit. Holy shit, Bogan. So yeah, really excited about that Blotto RTA. Uh, definitely gonna put a review for that up on YouTube sooner rather than later. I'd like to spend a little more time with it and I am rocking it with the straight glass which does kill the capacity on it a little bit. I just think it looks so much cleaner. I just think it looks so nice and clean on this mech. It's almost like one of those, you know, Freemax twister kits except awesome, except it's a badass regulated or regulated. It's a badass mech with a badass RTA on top. Oh my gosh. This is an everything killer. Don't even talk about the dog RTA. Dog RTA rules, reload vapor RTA rules. I'm really hoping that my future RTA rules, but this, this is, this is an RTA killer. This, this is one of the best RTAs I've used in 10 years of vaping. And I'm not trying to like, overhype this to you guys, I would never do that. If I don't think that you're gonna have an enjoyable vape from this, it's not worth my time. But I'm having such a good vape with it. I'm gonna, and, I'm, and I'm gonna shut up right now, but I'm having such a good vape with it. I, I just, I'm in love. I'm having a little bit of a love affair with this little fucking RTA, blotto. Anyway. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that's more or less what I have been vaping. And what I want to do right now before we get into any sort of vape mail, because I don't have a ton of vape mail, there's a little bit of news uh, I wanted to talk about. So let's do that. We're going to talk about some news and advocacy. And this is critical. This is the most important part of the vlog. If you don't watch any other part of the vlog, watch the news and advocacy. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah. So welcome. So I got sent this. Uh, I got sent this article from Danielle Jones. Danielle Jones is one of the hardest working advocates I believe in the vape industry. She's she's a credit to the vape industry. I love her. We need to have Danielle Jones around. Um, I'm assuming this was going to get talked about on the That's What She Said show, but I, I'm going to talk about it now. This is from. So this comes from. Uh, progressivepolicy.org, which believe it or not, and this is in the title of the vlog, it is a democratic left think tank type of situation. Notoriously, and look, this isn't a political thing. I'm not talking about party lines. If you're a Dem, then be a Dem. If you're a conservative, then please be a conservative. If you're whatever, be whatever. Notoriously, historically, through, you know, in vaping, in the vaping industry, the left and the Dems have always been against us from the very beginning, from the, from the very beginning. The Dems and the left just hate vaping. The only people that have kind of been on our side are conservatives like Fox News. Greg Gutfield always talks about vaping on Fox News. The conservatives have very much this like, uh, you know, small at least once upon a time, right? Smaller government, less taxes, less regulation, more freedom for the people. I'm a freedom guy and that's all I care about. But the Dems and the left have, have released this press release and it's crazy. It's crazy that this news is coming out of the left, not because I dislike the left or I dislike Dems at all in any capacity. Kind of rooting for Bernie, if we're being honest, in 2020, which is a weird thing for me to say, but I'm kind of rooting for Bernie 2020. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how, I have a meme that will describe this situation perfectly right now. I just don't like talking about politics. It's just something, I have wacky, nutty views on politics and uh, just don't want to put people off. It's okay for us to disagree. It is. It really is okay for us to disagree. Press release, PPI. More Americans quit smoking with assistance from e-cigarettes. What? This is coming out of the left. More Americans quit smoking. Washington. Electronic cigarettes or e-cigarettes offer the most effective means currently available for reducing cigarette smoking, according to economist Rob Shapiro, president of Sonicon, a new analysis for the Progressive Policy Institute. 
The Center for Disease Control data show that cigarette smoking by Americans declined, sudden, dis, declined steadily from the mid-1960s to around 2005 when this progress slowed down. Yet, from 2013 to 2017, the rate at which Americans used e-cigarettes accelerated sharply. Keep it up. At the rate which Americans have successfully stopped smoking cigarette, hang on, the rate at which Americans have successfully stopped smoking cigarettes has accelerated substantially since 2013, said Robert Shapiro, president of Sonicon, in his report for PPI. And the PPI is the progressive policy.org democratic think tank. And our statistical analysis of the CDC data in this area shows that increased use of electronic cigarettes can account for 70% of that acceleration. Since 2003, quitting smoking like crazy using vaping. Vaping accounts for 70% of that success. 70% of that success. Among adults, cigarette smoking rates fell from 18% in 2013 to 14% in 2017, while the use of e-cigarettes increased from 1.9% to 2.8%. This groundbreaking research makes it clear that vaping is not a gateway to cigarette smoking, but an exit from it. Innovations like heat not burn and vapor products are proving to be highly effective in helping U.S. smokers kick the harmful habit of burning tobacco, said Lindsay Lewis, executive director of PPI. Democratic think tank. I have never heard positive vaping anything from the side of the Democrats. This is blowing my mind right now. Blowing my mind. Where was I? Completely lost my pace. What ABV is this? Because Lewis continued, concerns about nicotine addiction among youth are valid, but Congress should address them by quickly passing laws banning sales of all tobacco products to people under 21. Right. We have, so I'm not a fan of tobacco 21, but it feels like something that we're, it's just unavoidable. We fight against Tobacco 21 at every turn that we possibly can, but it just keeps going through. Tobacco 21 is going to be a nationwide thing. It just is. And I don't support that. But what I do support is what Lewis said by enforcing the laws that we already have. In the United States, it's already illegal for anyone under 18 to purchase vapor products. That's already a law. Let's, enf let's enforce that law. Let's enforce that law. She says under 21, sure. If it's tobacco 21, let's enforce that law. Lewis continued concerns. Nope, I already read that. Among ad This is almost over. Among adolescents, the association between declining smoking rates and rising e-cigarette use was even stronger um, than among adults from 2013 to 2017. Cigarette smoking rates among high school students fell. Let me read that one more time. Cigarette smoking rates among high school students fell from 12.7% to 7.6%, while their use of e-cigarettes increased from 4.5 to 11.7. So all that the media is doing, all that the current administration is doing, all that the current FDA is doing is focusing on that 4.5% of e-cigarette use and not sell how do you not celebrate a historic drop in high school smoking how is that being something that is like being mourned no one's talking about it no one's celebrating it high school smoking is at the lowest rates it has ever been deadly carcinogenic cancer causing copd causing emphysema causing cigarettes lowest rates ever also reported, the report also found no evidential basis for concerns that e-cigarettes could be a gateway to cigarette smoking among adolescents. Finally, the study also found that by reducing cigarette smoking rates, e-cigarettes lower people's annual health care costs, enhance productivity, and extend people's lives. Vaping is a win all around. I'm so glad that this exists. I'm so glad that this came out. I'm going to throw a link to it, not just in the description of this video for everybody watching on the replay. I'm going to throw it in the chat, boosh, right now. 
Uh, you, you don't have to click on it right now, but it's there. It's there in the chat. You want me to throw it out there again? Can I do it again? Or is slow mode on? Is slow mode going to... Ah, there it is again. Have it again. Crazy. I, it's not so much the news because this is stuff that we've all known before, right? Like we know, thanks to the, the New England Journal of Medicine, that vapor products are twice as effective as any NRT on the market for quitting smoking. We know that. We, we've got studies that show that. This is saying the association between declining smoking rates, this says, hang on, the report also found no evidential basis for concerns that e-cigarettes could be a gateway to cigarette smoking among adolescents. No basis for concerns. No concern. And this is something else that we've I've kind of always postulated, I guess, that how could someone possibly pick up a vapor product and then be like, I want to smoke a cigarette now? Disgusting. It's not going to happen. It doesn't happen. It's not a gateway. We know it's not a gateway. They can't run from the science forever. They can't run from the science forever. But they sure are going to try, aren't they? Holy crap, they're going to try. Good evening, Big Red Vapor Trail. Vapor Channel. Glad to have you here. <sighs> Crazy. So that link is out there. I put it in the description. It's going to be in the chat. It's going to be in the description of this video. I would encourage everybody to read it, share it around if you want to, regardless of uh, party, partisan politics. My loyalty is to vaping. My loyalty is to the 400,000 smokers that are going to die this year from smoking-related illnesses. That is an easily fixable thing. And you know how we fix it? Boom, right there. Shiny Modi Pod. Welcome. Stop smoking cigarettes. And this is actually even a really good, really, really good tobacco flavor. Good. Not bad. Anyway, that was, so I thought that was real interesting. Real, real interesting. I want to give, again, a huge thank you to Danielle Jones for sending that over my way. It's in the description. It's in the chat. Really, really very much appreciated, Danielle. I just think that was, I just think that was so great. I just loved reading that. I had another article here that we're definitely not going to have time to get to. We might get to that. We might get to that at a later time. This is, this is the enforcement. This is vape regulation enforcement is beginning. It is. It is, it is. So what are we going to do now? Let's do something fun. Let's make fun of Mitch McConnell. I'm just kidding. Let's do something fun. Uh, let's do uh, mail. Was I holding that pod like a sir? Was I holding that pod like a sir? I, you know, I like to think so. I like to try. So, no more vanilla scented garbage bags, which is a real bummer just because, you know, we moved. So, all I have are these giant like ooh super force flex fucking glad garbage bags it's not nearly as fun and doesn't smell nearly as good so we got some dhl stuff i do have a i have an amazon package here which i don't think is i didn't order anything from amazon so i kind of come to the conclusion that it might be like a little bit of a gift maybe a little bit of a housewarming gift something like that DJ LSB Vapes is in the house. I hope Mike Vapes comes by. It always makes me stoked when Mike Vapes comes by. I don't know why. What do we got? <gasps> what? Oh, no. This is the Aug Vape. Holy shit. And I was just going on and on and on about that Vaporesso Gen. All right. So this is the Aug Vape. What color do I want to open? Black, red, or blue? Black, red, or blue? I might go red. I'm going to steal the red one. This is uh, what I believe to be the next sort of iteration of my other previous favorite regulated mod of all time, the AugVape V200. This is the AugVape VTech 1.8 mod. So, Sure, they, they named it something differently. The style of it looks very, very similar to that AugVape V200. Really similar to it. And guys, I just loved that thing. I just loved the crap out of that thing. Yep. 
Okay, so what differences do I notice right away? Color bright. That is a bright red mod. That is a bright, bright red mod. There seems to be some grippiness here on the back. It maintains the fire button is still right here at the top, right there. This is still the little jog con, kind of back and forth, little jog controller. It just snaps back and snaps back. I'm gonna peel this sticker off here. God, remember the sticker peeling stuff? I did a review years ago, and uh, I was talking about how the screen got all scratched up, and people were like, no, that's just the screen protector. And I'm like, no, I definitely took the screen protector off. And people were accusing me of not taking off the screen protector. I wish they had changed the, uh, the battery tray design. I kind of wish they had changed that. It does, so far the only difference I can see is that the 510 looks a little bit different. Same everything, same button, same body, same battery door. Unfortunately, the battery door was the weakest part of this mod. Og vape, same display. And you adjust it by like going like this. See this? See this happening? Let's let it focus. It's not spinning. It's just bouncing. It's just a bouncing. It needs rims and a spoiler with a JDM sticker on it, James. I, I would agree with that. Here's the thing. This div I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a big car guy. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a big car guy, aficionado. I don't uh, work on them. I couldn't tell you the difference between a 1968 Plymouth Roadrunner and a 1972 Plymouth Roadrunner. I just couldn't do that. I just like this mod because it's comfortable as fuck. It just this and the button right here. Boop boop boop. I just I love that clicky hidden button. I love that it's right at the top. I love holding this like this. What can I put on here? What can I put on here? Let's take this UL Valerian tank because the UL Valerian mod is dead and it's even red and matchy a little bit. Oh shit, new load. We're gonna turn this way down from 160 watts. I don't remember what I was even rocking this at. Let's try uh, 68 watts. <laughs> um, always remember to open your airflow, especially if you're using the UL Valerian. Always just double check your airflow because this just slides shut constantly. Plenty of power. Feels good. Feels so comfy in the hand. I don't remember this uh, tank whistling so much. That color rules. I don't care. I love the way that looks. That is sick. It looks a little bit more pink on screen because I got these pink and purple lights on in my office because, you know, I'm a cool streamer guy and I got to have cool LED lights in the background. But it's red. It's like fire engine red. And so far, honestly, truly and honestly, the only difference I notice is that it's kind of an updated version. And then there's this sort of like spongy rubber on the back like just they just added some spongy rubber on the back and then that's kind of that's kind of it big gulps huh well all right no what does he say all right see you later i don't remember the ul valerian 2 tank whistling so much all right so this is around that's going to stay around for a little bit. Does that count as setting something up? I don't know. Now what's in here? What's in here, my friends? This Shenzhen Horizon Tech. Horizon Tech? Falcon King? Other things that Horizon Tech has made? What else has Horizon Tech made? I can't even honestly think of anything. All right, what do we got here? Oh, it, that was inevitable. That was inevitable. Well, it's been two months since they've released something, so it's time to release something new. This is the Falcon Kit. I'll show you this one because it's not rainbow. This is essentially a, what I'm assuming to be very similar to like a Freemax Twister, you know, that thing, battery, 
tank type of thing, kind of like a, you know, a, a cheaper version of what you could do with a mech mod and an RTA, something like that. But it does come with a Falcon tank on top, which is kind of a big deal because the Falcon tank is a rock and sub ohm tank. There is also this, so what the crap, what the hell, Horizon Tech? I don't get it. I don't get why you would release two products with the same name. I'm gonna open the green one. So remember the Horizon Tech Magico pod? Well, this is also the Horizon Tech Magico pod, except it's actually a pod this time. It's actually like an AIO pod device. I don't know. I don't know why they did that. Bunch of spare coil heads. These all look to be uh, mesh, 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 meshy mesh coil heads. So that's what we got. Well, shit, okay, what other colors does this come in? I have a stainless and a rainbow and a straight up purple. Blue. I can't hold all these. I can't hold all these oranges. Blue, black, just straight up black. And that's the one that every fucking vape reviewer is gonna love. They're gonna be, I, I like the black one. I like it in black. Vapors, we just like things, we just like black mods. Black mods, black RTAs, no, no color. Fuck color. Well, as always, when I'm going through my vape mail, there's I try to find something to set up. And I would kind of like to set up, you, you guys vote in the chat. Give me a one for the pod, two for the Falcon kit. That's what I'll set up. One for the pod, two for the Falcon kit. That's what I'll set up. Completely un, unscientific way to do it. And now this is a Amazon box that is, I did not order anything. And so like I said, one for the pod, two for, okay, there's a lot of twos. Looks like we're going with the Falcon. Oh shit, 126 pounds of potatoes. That's how much the average uh, American consumes it. 42, all right. All right, I'm seeing more twos than ones, so let's go with the Falcon kit. Let's set up that Falcon kit. What is this? What? I got a pool floaty. Did you see me bite the end of this box? I got a pool floaty. Who are you, who is this from? Lee Williams, a gift for me from Lee Williams. Lee, Lee, what's your internet name, Lee? What is your internet name? I know you, Lee, and I'm trying to think of your name. Anyway, yo yo to ya, Lee. I know that you're a patron for sure. You guys, look at this. This is a Star Trek captain's chair pool floaty. What? Float long and prosper. Holy shit. Star Trek, the original series. Command the USS Enterprise from the comfort of your pool. This inflatable replica of Captain James Tiberius Kirk's captain's chair. 100% vinyl. Do not overinflate. With realistic details and oversized armrest, this pool float puts you in the captain's chair for all your poolside adventures. This is amazing. This is amazing. Like, thank you. Thank you for this. I love this. This is, this is gonna go right in line with that Millennium Falcon pool floaty. I just used it yesterday. I love it. Should I blow it up right now? No, I can't do that. I got one more package to do. Holy crap, this is so cool. Kind of want to take this to the pool like right now, but I'm gonna have to wait at least another hour and 15 minutes. And that's okay, you know what? That's okay, but I will be, I will be sitting in that captain's chair, like in my pool, chilling, maybe with a beer, maybe with a vape, just floating around, like Captain James Tiberius Kirk, as I imagine he would have floated around in his pool had he had a replica of his Starship command chair. It's gonna be me, all thanks to Lee. Lee, thank you. Fuck, I love Star Trek. I, you know, I just, I just like nerdy shit. That's just the way it is. This is from, uh, I'm not going to reveal who this is from until we get it open here. All right, 
that's impossible to open on that side, so let's try this side. Why are you so difficult? I'm just going to have to... Yep, it's fine. This is from BMI. And BMI... BMI is great. I'm a big fan of BMI. We did the... Uh, we did the, uh, oh, it's for retro vaping. Here, I won't show you what's on top. We did this. We did the BMI uh, Touch. BMI Touch Grim Green, uh, Grim Army Kassaf Fundraiser Edition. I would love to do another run of those for something. Or Those are just dope, 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 dope mods. And this is their BMI Micro. This is the BMI Micro system. I'm just going to open it. We are going to set up that Falcon kit in just a moment, but this is their, uh, this is their as vape, you know, I, I apparently from what I can tell it's BMI's design as vape licensed it as the micro, but it's the BMI micro and it looks like one of these and it's pretty fucking rocking. This is the final version. I had like a, an earlier version of this comes with their own, uh, stainless steel door that fits on there and adds a substantial amount of like heft and weight to this little AIO kit. Got a button kind of right here, right in the middle. Looks a little billet boxy, man. It looks like a little shrunk down billet box right there. Airflow in the front. There's your uh, USB, what looks like USB-C for charging, which I am all for that. All for USB-C. Let's Get rid of micro USB and let's just all switch to USB-C, please, if we could, please. Please, please, I love it so much more. So this is dope. This is a dope little thing. Um, I've had one of these already and I've been using it for a few weeks, so hopefully we can get a video out for this BMI Micro very, very soon. It's a rocking little AIO and, you know, we're, we're trying to release our own AIOs, so... I love, love the healthy competition. I, I welcome the healthy competition with open arms. Okay, here we go. We're gonna set up blue. No, fuck that, purple, not blue. We're gonna set up blue. Lot, not a lot of people know this about me. Blue is actually my favorite color of freaking all time. Yeah, I kind of agree with you, Legion Vapes. AIOs are the next wave and they're gonna take over pod systems. And then it's all gonna come back again. It's all gonna come back again to hobbyist vaping. That It's cyclical. Everything in vaping is cyclical. Pod systems, AIOs are gonna take over pods. People start using more AIOs. They're gonna start doing restricted lung hits and then they're gonna want more restricted lung hits and then they're gonna want more lung hits. And soon we just got a fucking nation of cloud chasers. And I still wanna make that t-shirt that says fuck pods chase clouds. I think that would be hilarious. But it's all cyclical. It's all going to come around. It's just a matter of time before someone goes from like the Magicopod to the Falcon kit to a mech with an RTA. Like that's the progression. That's just how it's going to go. That's just how it's going to go. Yeah, Vic, good call. Anybody here that's now, right now, if you're enjoying yourself, just go ahead and smash that like button. Just smash it. I, tell, I usually tell you to punch your computer. Don't punch your computer. Just smash that like button. I would appreciate that very much. So here we go. This is the Falcon kit. Replaceable battery? Oh, it's an 18650. Interesting choice, Horizon Tech. Very interesting choice. Yeah. It doesn't do both. It literally just does 18650s. Yep, 18650s. Interesting. It's just interesting. It's just interesting in 2019 when we're all about, you know, fucking battery life and we have 21700 batteries on the market. It's just weird seeing a brand new device that's like 18650. That's it. Just one, just one 18650. But that's it, one 18650 goes in the bottom. Just like that. Kind of springs to life here. What do we got? This does 80 watts on a single 18650. 
That's interesting. Can you get 80 watts out of a single 18650? Don't know. Horizon Tech says yes. Um, I feel like in one single 18650, this thing is going to be woefully, woefully underpowered and have just a kind of a terrible battery life. There is a display on it right now. Hoping that the camera focuses on that. There's a little display along the bottom there. Let's see, you could do the do this trick. There's kind of a little display right here. You got up down buttons, a display, and then a big fire button right up here. Nothing else is adjustable. You got the Falcon King tank, which is, you know, one of the best sub owned tanks on the market. Falcon King right on top. That looks pretty slick. I'm going to grab some liquid and I'm going to vape this. What's the coil head options? You need to know your coil head options. In fact, anytime I get a sub ohm tank with a pre installed coil head, just pull the coil head out. Just pull the coil head out and kind of reseat it in there because sometimes from the factory, these are seated in there just way too far and it compromises the integrity of the O rings and it'll actually lead to like leaking and gurgling, which is not what you want. So just pull the coil head out and reseat it in there. This looks to me like a dual mesh coil head. This to me looks like a single mesh coil head. So we're going to do the dual mesh coil head, of course, because flavor. Now, what do I put in here? Sad boy strawberry cookie. Strawman head. I think we're going to go with strawman head. Strawman head. Poor Ruby Roo. She's not even here to appreciate that joke with me. Yeah, don't forget to like that sm like that smash button. Yeah. Don't forget to like that smash button, guys. Just like it. Just see that smash button? You guys see that smash button? Like it. <laughs> like the smash button. I'm right, gonna put some liquid in there. Gonna screw this back together. Gonna you put some liquid in here. Strawman head. And I'm assuming this is just the Falcon King tank. I don't think they've, I don't feel like they've made any adjustments or changes to this. It looks and feels like a Falcon King tank does. Let's get some liquid flowing in there. Let's see what this resistance is going to come out to. Uh, 0.33, so I'm going to turn this down. We're going to turn this way down. 0.33, we're probably going to start it at like 60 watts. <laughs> also included in this package of the Falcon kit, little micro USB-C cable. You get a spare coil head. You get standard issue pack-ins. There's a little baggie of spare little silicone O-rings, gaskets, things like that, as well as a spare straight glass but i'm using the bubble glass because that's just that's just what was on there it's just what was on there i have no control over it i didn't think that far ahead so now that this has been sitting and here's what i'll say about it right now no that's not USB-C. that's not USB-C. the bmi touch was USB-C. this is just micro usb yeah Got a little bit ahead of myself there. This is just regular micro USB. Sorry, I didn't mean to mislead you. It's not USB-C. I will say that here, in fact, let's do a little comparing. Comparisoning. Ready for this? Freemax Twister, Horizon Tech Falcon Kit. Already the Falcon Kit, it's a little bit swoopier, a little bit more ergonomic looking. It feels heavier, beefier, and more substantial than any one of these like kits that I've used. More than the Magico, more than the Twister. Feels, feels nice, feels heavy, feels substantial. Hoping that I can get enough power from this single 18650. I don't, can I? Can I? 60 watts, let's give it a shot. <laughs> Sixty watts. 
Not bad. 0.32 dual mesh coil head, 60 watts, single 18650. Feeling pretty good right now. Yeah, I mean, I really like the Freemax Twister. I like their coil heads, but I also like the Falcon coil heads. It's hard. It's hard to compare them. This is vaping good. I can't say like it's better. It's better than the Freemax. It's better than the Nunchaku. It's better than the Magico. It's just new and I haven't got to use it yet. I will say I like holding this more than the Freemax already. And I don't know if it's just because of the swoopy angles on it. It just feels, it just feels higher quality. You know what I mean? Like this feels, this feels like a, a, a Lexus. This feels like a Scion. You know, this feels like my car. This feels like a Scion. This feels elegant, refined. It's okay, vape level midnight. You're allowed to be loud. You're allowed to be late because you have the best name on YouTube. I wish the Bone Zone would stop by. You know, I like it when the Bone Zone comes by. Bone Zone's always over on Matt's channel, I guess. Like Matt has like such great streams, you know. But I like the Bone Zone when the Bone Zone comes and hangs out. Appreciate that. Airflow all the way open. Strum and head tastes delicious in here. Vape capital. I'm just going to vape capital it up in here. Anybody remember vape, vape capital? Vape capital. Vape capital back in the day. You know, this is going to be a future subject for Tuesday, bro, Tuesday, which I'm really excited about that stream, by the way, you guys. Get excited for Tuesday, bro, Tuesday, because it's coming back next week and it's going to be awesome. But this is a future topic for Tuesday, bro, Tuesday. The golden age of vaping. I consider the golden age of vaping between 2014, the beginning of 2014 to the end of 2015. Those two years were the golden age of vaping. Golden. Just the golden age of vaping. And Vape Capital, back in the day, was this company. And they didn't really release products or anything. They were just like a vape brand. They would hold these cloud comps in Southern California. Vape Capital. They would hold cloud comps in Southern California that I used to go to. These were heavily attended cloud comps, believe it or not, heavily attended cloud comps because the grand prize winner just to blow the biggest cloud was $10,000. Let that sink in a little bit. Then in the golden age of vaping, we had cloud comps in Southern California where the grand prize was $10,000 for blowing a cloud $10,000. And I judged these cloud comps. Me and Dwayne fucking sat there for hours just listening to that three, two, one, vape capital. And they would blow and we'd go, oh, the guy on the right was a little bit bigger. Let's put him one step closer to 10 grand for blowing a cloud. I don't know. Would this would this hold up? Let's do a vape capital cloud comp right fucking now. Out of the way. Nobody make fun of my short shorts. Vape capital. Was that a ten thousand dollar cloud? I don't know. Is the Horizon Tech Falcon kit providing me with a ten thousand dollar cloud? I don't know. I'll take you on, Truthful Vapor. I'll take anybody on. Let's bring the cloud comps back, man. Do you see my moose knuckle? You shut up. Grim wears short shorts. Look, it's a very European look, okay? I bought these shorts in Sweden, and every cool guy in Sweden that I talked to, uh, they all said, yeah, you roll it up a little bit at the bottom. You roll, you roll it twice. And they all had rolled shorts. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm not being pranked because all of Sweden is wearing rolled shorts. So I'm wearing, I wanted to fit in. I wanted to fit in in Sweden. I can't help it if I look good in short shorts. I can't help it. Well, there we go. That's it. That's all the mail. Fucking thinking about that Star Trek pool floaty. 
I just want it. I want to use it. We set up the Falcon kit that could potentially win a Vape Capital $10,000 cloud comp. Sweden, they're the masters of the long con. Every time I wear these shorts, all my buds in Sweden are like, fucking Grim Green still rolling his shorts up. I can't believe we got him to do that, dude. They were on the rack rolled up, okay? The whole country of Sweden couldn't possibly be trolling me right now. But shit, they very well could be. So what I want to do right now is, dang, we got through all that mail pretty quickly. I would like to... Hmm. Let's do a... What do we do? What do we do? You can't possibly see my underpants. What do we do? Blow up the present? I should blow up the care? I should blow up the chair? Giveaway? Let's do retro vaping. Stan's here. It's time to do retro vaping. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot this is a retro vape that I have to wick. Now, I might have done this vet retro vape recently, but I don't remember. And I want to do it again because this is what I used to use. I'm going to be putting it on this BMI touch here. This is what I used to use um, for every liquid tasting in the vlog. Back in the day when all the vlogs were pre recorded, which, good lord. I don't know if you guys understand how much work <laughs> was involved in those pre-recorded vlogs, but it was it was a lot of intense work. One, two, three, four, five. Back in the day when all of these were pre-recorded, I used to do every liquid tasting with this. And what this is, no, oh, a little bit of a we gotta strum out these coils. This is the same coil that I've been using this whole time. What I'm talking about is the Pharaoh, the original Pharaoh drip tank. Sick as tits. The original Pharaoh drip tank. This was, uh, I believe, apart from liquids, I believe this was the first product that Rip Trippers released on the market as like a piece of hardware. I don't think I'm wrong about that. I need to re-wick this because uh, it's unwicked. I used to use it for liquid tastings. Every liquid tasting was done with this Pharaoh, and it annoyed me to no end, to no end, that that he decided to call this thing a drip tank, because that that's a that's a it's a category in vaping that didn't exist. It doesn't exist now, and it simply only existed for Rip Trippers and his Pharaoh drip tank. And I remember I'd have people that would email me and I had a dude at work, had a dude at work who would ask me about drip tanks. He'd say, what's a good drip tank? I heard about the Pharaoh drip tank. What's a good drip tank? And I'm like, there aren't, that's not a thing. Drip tanks aren't a thing. It's either a tank or a dripper. This is a dripper. I don't consider this a tank in any capacity. Although I did get, you know, a really good vape from it. And it's got... A little bit of a juice well in there, but certainly nothing that I would consider like a tank. Like when you think of a tank, you think of a tank. You think of a tank, right? Tanks. Something that you can fill up with liquid and then possibly leave your house without a bottle of liquid and still be able to continue to vape because you have all this liquid stored in a tank. You're leaving the house with the original Pharaoh. You're bringing a bottle of juice with you. It's a dripper. It's a dripper. <laughs> Very gracious of you, Jay Hayes. Please say drip tank again. Fucking drip tanks. It's not a thing. It was invented for the Pharaoh. There has not been a drip tank since. It was a one product thing. No one who today is going, oh, wish I wish I had that drip. Wish I had I wish they made more drip tanks. I wish man. I really miss that Pharaoh was such a good drip tank. Would like to see some more drip tanks. Drip tank. Drip tank. I'm just, I'm sorry. I don't mean to get so riled up. You know what I mean? But that was just something that really stuck in my craw, apparently. Apparently, I'm, I have unfinished business with rip trippers and the drip tank thing. 
Apparently. Thankfully, the pharaoh is stupid easy to wick. That's not going to focus. It is, uh, it's stupid, stupid easy to wick. It's just a single coil. The pharaoh was stupid, stupid easy to build too. It just had two clamps on the side. You could literally build like a K-Fun style coil with your leads going off in, you know, opposite directions, one going north, one going south, and just kind of set it in there like nuzzle it in there, screw it down, boom. So easy to build. Same thing with wicking. You left your wicks a little bit long because they had to get down into that deep juice well, into that drip tank juice well. Had to get in there. So you leave your wicks a little bit longer, a little bit longer in there. And the cap, this was probably the most annoying thing about the Pharaoh, was the cap is threaded. It's not just an RDA that you pop the top on. It is a threaded, threaded. Listen to those threads. Didn't have great threading, never had great threading, but I still really liked the vape I got from this. And it was never like it was never like my daily banger or anything like that. It's just something that I used for liquid tasting. So now I need a liquid. What do we got? Let's do uh, let's do some purple rain. Why not? I'm in a grapey mood. I got some uh, purple rain, purple rain, purple rain, purple rain. I wrote that song. I actually didn't. Prince wrote that song. But we're going to put some Purple Rain on here. I believe this came from, uh, you know, that guy, that one guy. He does the, the AM vape show. Anthony. Anthony Ramella. Ramella? Ramala? Ramella? I think this came from him. Hey, vapors are happening. Has been wicked. It has been juiced. Remember when I used to say that? So we got a 0.62 at 66.6 watts. All right. Unlock the screen. Let's adjust this wattage down just a little bit because I remember even with a big fat single coil in here, I could never run it at a, at a like a reasonable wattage. I always had to turn the wattage way down. So we're going to eventually get this wattage down to 60 watts. No, that's too high. That's way too high. It's a 0.6. 0.62? Holy shit. Okay, wow, that is really a 0.62 single coil on there. This could be a series build. I'm gonna turn this down. I'm gonna turn this down to 50 watts and that's where we're gonna leave it. If I have to turn it up again, we'll turn it up again, but I don't wanna start off too high. There's nothing worse than guesstimating where your wattage needs to be and you're like, ah, this is fine, I'll just vape it. And then it's just fucking terrible death in your mouth. Chat is what? Oh, oh, is this 12 milligram? Chat is warning you that the bottle says 12 milligram that you're a vape, about to vape. Cannot confirm just passing it on. It is 12 milligram. So that means that this liquid tasting just got so much more interesting. I don't care. Let's try it. Let's try 12 milligram purple rain. I wish I had known. The thing is, I think I vaped Purple Rain out of a sub-ohm tank earlier and didn't even, uh, didn't even phase me that it was 12. Airflow, real weird on the Pharaoh. You'll see when I purge it, but there was a, an array of holes just along one side. This array of holes on one side. The other side was branded. It said Pharaoh, but you had an array of holes on this side. So when you purge it, only came out the top and only came out in three directions. That 12 milligram is going to be way too intense for me. Uh, <sighs> peer pressure. Like I have to do it. I have to vape it, right? Motherfuck. All right, here we go. Let's do 12 milligram out of the Pharaoh. Welcome to retro vaping. I'm going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, this is going to knock me out of my chair, I think. I already am leaking. I got liquid here. Wish me luck. Handled it. Handled it. That 12 milligram though, it is, uh, 
It's a little bit strong. It's not as throaty as I thought it would be. I thought for sure, without a doubt, 100 percently that this would be sending me into the, the coughing fit like I have never had a coughing fit before. But I fucking ripped it and I stood, I, I, I survived. Oh my God. It is a lot though. That is a lot. Don't lung 12 milligram. Don't lung 12 milligram out of, out of an RDA. Just, I mean, you can, in fact, try it, (laughs) try it. Some 12 milligrams are going to be worse than other 12 milligrams. This 12 milligram purple rain, it's like a grapey kind of like, uh, just makes me think of like those big wads of grape gum, like big league chew. You know, you just, you take the biggest wad possible and you're like, <laughs> that flavor, that grape bubble gum, big league chew, really artificial, artificial grape. It's not an RDA. It's a drip tank. Rip Trippers called it a drip tank. It has to be drip tank. okay it's a drip tank i apologize i apologize it is a drip tank it is the one of a kind unique only to the pharaoh drip tank no drip tanks before and no drip tanks ever after just the pharaoh it vapes nice airflow is not as good as i remember flavor is not as good as i remember it really doesn't. Uh, it really doesn't stand the test of time, does it? And so the idea behind this threaded nonsense was that you would fill up the bottom of it with some liquid. Like you could take this bottle and stick it in this reservoir down here, kind of fill it up, give it a few squeezes, like an RDTA. And you screw this top part back on, and then the wicks that are dipping down into that little juice well will absorb all of that liquid and it goes right to your coil you can vape it that's a, that's that's too much nicotine man 12 milligram don't lung it just don't pro tip don't lung it all right well that was the pharaoh and i would be vaping on it a lot longer except I had to pick the only bottle of fucking, this is the only bottle of 12 milligram that exists. Look, three, 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 three. This is three, this is three. This is another grape that's three. I could have vaped that grape out of it. Rocket Blast, three, mango, three, everything, three. I had to grab the one bottle of 12 that exists in this drawer. And to be perfectly honest, I didn't even know that I had a bottle of 12 milligram. Nope, had no idea. Well, that's good to know. I'm glad I have a bottle of 12 milligram. I just can't vape it out of this drip tank. Are you happy? I called it a drip tank. Okay. Did you send it to me in three milligram? I don't know why I opened the 12. I don't know why I always, I don't know why I opened the 12. But look, if this was loaded up with three milligram, I would say about this retro vape that I say about a lot of my retro vapes, it's real good. It's satisfying. This vapes well. It's a lung. It's a cloud chaser. Flavor's good. Big single coil. Easy to build. Easy to wick. A little bit of annoying, but honestly, this holds up. This holds up just as good as anything else I got. Just as good as anything I got, even with that 12 milligram. Even with that 12 milligram. Good Lord, you guys. That's it. I'm done vaping for like the night. That is it. Oh, I can't be. I can't be done vaping for the night. Damn. I have to do liquid tastings. I have so much more to do. Well, since we have a little bit of extra free time here, for the next 15 minutes, I want to try to actually read some viewer freaking mails. Did I get rid of the viewer mail bumper? Holy shit, I think I did. Uh Uh-oh, here it is. Let's do it. We got 15 minutes. We got 15 minutes. Let's read some viewer mails. Now the question is, where do I keep my viewer mails? 
because I don't know anymore. Oh, here they are. Uh, they're in the folder called Viewer Mails. Excellent. Um, I just pick these at random. I try to pick ones that aren't too long, but aren't too short either. <laughs> so let's do this one. Uh, oh, this is what? Wow, it's random that I picked this one. All right, fine. This is from my cousin Barbara. <laughs> How did I pick this one? Cosmic. That's some cosmic stuff right there. That's some cosmic stuff. Don't forget to hit that like button. Smash it. Smash the like button. That's what you have to say on YouTube, right? Smash the like button. F feel free to subscribe too. I don't think subscribing actually does anything on YouTube because I don't think it does anything. I don't get, I don't see my subscriptions. People don't see their subscriptions. YouTube is, I would say it's the equivalent of a dumpster fire, but it's more like a garbage truck on fire at this point. But here we go. Barbara. Hi, cousin. Hey, Barbara. Question. My other cousin, Will, I, I do remember Will, uh, he had a great, with great fondness, he tried to quit smoking. He's tried vaping before, but had problems with coughing and burning in the throat. What would you recommend in terms of equipment and juice? <sighs> J word. He's living with me and we are currently getting along. Amazing what happens when he's clean and sober. So if you could please give him a shout out as well as he remembers you and Brian with great fondness and considered you both of his cousins as well. Yeah, absolutely, Will. I'm not, what am I gonna do? Not shout out my cousin, Will? Shouting out Barbara, we're shouting out Will. Welcome to the, the here's my family. So Will, I probably would on it. And look, and I know people are gonna get uh, nepotism. Is that what this is? This is nepotism. I know people are gonna jump all over me. I would say, if you haven't tried it, try the Juul, okay? Regardless of what you think of, of, of Altria and Juul Labs, the Juul will help people quit smoking. If you're not all about that life, I would recommend the Uwell Yearn, Y-E-R-N, Uwell Yearn. Some videos are already going up for it, a little bit on the internet, a few, I've seen a few on YouTube already. I don't wanna spoil my review of it, but it's damn near flawless. I think it's the best pod system. I think it's the best pod system. I would recommend that to Will. Barbara, get Will a you well. I'll just email you. I'll text you this. I don't need to. <laughs> you well, you well, you well yearn. You well yearn. All right. I got another one here from Alex. Alex writes in and says, hey, Nick, how's it going? <sighs> Alex here from Mineral Wells, Texas. Bipolar weather, bipolar weather has me sick going from 75 to 28 back to 75 and it's getting old. You figure we'd be used to it after living here my whole 21 years. Anyway, I wanted to say thanks for everything you do for the vape community and I would like to credit you in helping me switch from traditional tobacco products to full-time vaping going on two years in March. Longtime viewer of the vlog and first time sending an email. Anyways, have a good one, man, and vape on. I'm gonna go back to this bipolar weather here in Texas. All right, well, let's shout out, Alex. Congratulations on your two years. I just love... I just love hearing success stories. Love hearing success stories. I, here's the thing. The Caliburn, I love the Caliburn. I love the Caliburn. If the UL urine was refillable, the Caliburn, I'd be like, what? What Caliburn? What Caliburn? Never heard of it. I only vape the UL urine. But because the UL urine is pre-filled, it, it goes down just a hair. I want to be able to refill my pods. I don't like just buying pods and throwing them away and buying pods and throwing them away. I hate fucking seeing pods on the ground. I hate seeing jewel pods on the ground. It makes me insane. Just, I want to fill it up. I want to fill it up. You well yearn. It, it kind of rules. Got another email here from Jacob. Jacob writes in, and if anybody out there watching has a viewer mail that they wanna send in, I know we don't do this very often, but if you wanna send in a viewer mail, you can send them on over to nick at grimgreen.com. Just mark your subject, viewer mail. I'll read it. I might screen capture it. It might end up on this vlog like two months from now when we do another viewer mails. Hey Grim, I was sitting in my room today and I hear the TV that my current state of Tennessee is pushing a bill to raise the legal smoking and vaping age from 18 to 21. I think it is completely uncalled for that they would do this. I'm currently 19 and vape and raising the age would make it to where I would go without it. I used to smoke cigarettes underage and when I turned 18, I went to vaping and when I was underage, I'd get friends to buy cigarettes for me. 
If they do turn the age to 21, I would have to go back to all that, asking my mother or older friends to get them for me. I think it's very childish for this tactic because I'm a grown man, not a child. I shouldn't have to worry about something like this. What are your thoughts? Thanks, Jacob. I I agree with you. I agree with you. I don't like Tobacco 21. I don't agree with Tobacco 21. I think we need to just draw the line in the sand and say, look, you're an adult at 18. If you're not an adult at 18, you're an adult at 21. And there's no more in betweeny. You're 18, you're old enough to smoke, but you're not old enough to do this. You're not old enough to enlist in the military, but you're not old enough to, to vape, or you're not old enough to do this, but you're old enough to drink. It's confusing. Does anybody remember being 18 years old? Fucking confusing confusing as fuck. That's a confusing time in your life. I don't agree with tobacco 21. I, and I, I, you'd be hard pressed to find a lot of vapors that are in favor of, uh, of tobacco 21. Not a lot of favors, not a lot of vapors. Here we go. Elliot, he's asking about the Aegis quest. Elliot writes in and says, Hi, Nick, my name is Elliot, and I'm a longtime subscriber to your YouTube channel who is on a quest. I hope this email finds you well if you ever get around to reading it. I know, you're just calling me out on my shit right now. Haven't read a viewer mail in probably two months, maybe longer. I'm basically after an original Geek Vape Aegis 100 watt mod, which seems to be next to impossible to find for sale these days. Even Geek Vape themselves seems to have discontinued the awesome bit of kit. I've wanted one for quite some time, but never bit the bullet and bought one, and now it seems I'm sadly too late, which sucks. Nothing else seems to suit my gear RTA. So yeah, if you ever read this, can you please point me in the direction of where I can get one? Many, many thanks. Sincerely, Elliot. So Elliot, no, I can't. I don't know where the original Geek Vape Aegis would even be for sale anymore. eBay, Fast Tech, maybe. Uh, the Legend is a stand-up kit. Uh, the the Wismec Tinkerer is a little aegis And I think it's a real nice kit as well. You have some other options out there. I know you have your heart set on an original Aegis, but I just don't know where... Uh, I apologize, I'm not more help, Elliot. I just don't know where you could possibly pick one up. I just... I just don't know. And I apologize. William... Okay, this one is that one thing. We're going to end with William's email here. And again, anybody has a viewer mail that they would maybe one day in the future like to see featured on this here vlog, you can send them on over to me. Just make sure it's not like a pressing question because it's going to take me. There you go, Ian. Jackaroo kit. Jackaroo kit. It's one of those other really durable, really like waterproofy, water resistant type of products. That could be a thing. That could be a thing for you too. All right, let's get to William's last email here. It's called That One Thing. Hey, Nick. What? My name is Seth? Hang on, Seth. Are you a liar? I haven't, I haven't come across a liar in a really long time. But your email says from William, and then you call yourself Seth. And those names are not interchangeable. Like if, you, if your email came from William and you're like, my name's uh, Bill. I would be like, oh, okay, that's fine. All right, Seth, I don't know what to believe now. I'm very skeptical all around of you, Seth. My name is Seth. I'm 29 years old with three children and a fourth on the way. I've been vaping for over a year with only one slip up and I wanna thank you for helping me along the way in this journey. If it weren't for my daughter, I would probably still be smoking two packs of menthol 100s a day. (sighs) Look, I was a menthol guy, Seth, I get it. I get it. I smoked a lot of menthol cigarettes. I was a menthol guy. I walked in one night after my after dinner cigarette and witnessed my then two year old on the couch with a crayon pretending to smoke a cigarette. I immediately went and broke my pack of cigarettes and went to the only place I knew the gas station and got my blue pod and eventually moved on to a mod. But I can say that I'm not sure I would have kept up with this this whole time if it weren't for your videos. So thank you for what you do, kind sir. I'm sitting here watching your first videos, came across your one year video, and I was wondering if you ever got to frame your Smoke 51 with a menthol cardamizer as the thing that saved you from cigarettes. If you hadn't, I would really like to do that for you. Of course, with help from my wonderful wife, Tiffany. If you feel so inclined, please keep, then please read in the vlog. If not, that's cool too. Anyway, 
Thanks again, man. Keep on vaping, Seth. Listen, Seth, I do still have my Smoke 51 starter kit that was the, the Jeremy V Geek Vape Edges, Aegis 100 watts still available at Direct Vapor and Gear Best. Gear Vape, Direct Vapor and Gear Best. I do still have my Smoke 51 battery and one singular menthol Smoke 51 cartomizer. It's uh, somewhere. I know I definitely have it. I saw it when we were moving. It's somewhere in this office. And I do kind of want to get it framed. Uh, is that dumb? Is that silly? I think it would be cool. I think it would be cool. I think that would be cool, William. I might hit you up about that. I might hit you up about that framing business. We might frame that little vape. Frame that little e sang. It'll be cool. It would be cool. Anyway. Let's move on. Let's get to, uh, we got about 30 minutes left, which leaves me just enough time to do a few things that I want to do. And one of those few things I want to do is a very random liquid. Dang, finishing the beer before the vlog is even done. Is that what is happening? So uh, the liquid I have today came in last week, I think. Last week in the vlog. Hang on. Yeah, it came from uh, it came from Aqua Element. Aqua Element Vapor. Remember, the, all these bottles came in that big Coil Master thing, and I picked one out just because. You know, it's uh, it's summertime, and I, I kind of wanted to try one of their liquids, and this one was really kind of appealing to me. This is from uh, Aqua Element. Uh, this is called Trinity, and it is it says Vintage Lemonade. Plus, I just really like the label and graphics and branding on this bottle. It's like, it's almost like a battle royale tattoo. Like it's. Uh, an eagle fighting a snake. Like, that's just so cool. That's, that is just so cool. Holy crap, that is so cool. I just think that's so cool. Trinity Vintage Lemonade. Aqua Element E-Liquid. So, we're not going to be tasting it in the squonker. We're not going to be tasting it in the squonker because I'm still using the squonker somewhere. I don't know where it is. We're, we're not tasting it in the squonker because I don't know where the squonker is. So what I have is the new Kennedy Vapor Ruby two post continuous contact, constant contact. I saw that super chat, super chat Lou Gora. I, I love you, bro. I, I am so sorry. That instantly made me sad. Instantly made me sad. So sorry, bro. I love you. So let's do this. Let's taste this. Let's taste Trinity. What do you suppose vintage lemonade tastes like? What do you suppose vintage lemonade tastes like? Tart. Very, very tart. Could be a little bit of culotta in this. I love me some culotta, and this could have culotta in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to liquid up these coils. I'm just going to saturate these coils and wicks. I've got some uh, M-Turk aliens in here, which if you're running a mech, you want M-Turk aliens in it. That's just, uh, that's just the conclusion that I've come to. You're running a mech, Turk aliens. Put them in there. I'm going to liquid these up. I know this ruby is going to have rockin' ass flavor. Rockin' ass flavor. Definitely needs a new battery, though. 100% needs a new battery. So you go there. You go there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Here we go. There we go. That's so much better. Weird. Whoa, that's weird. That smells really weird. Hell yeah, Frames. Shout out Frames Janklin Vapor. I'm going to be on his YouTube tomorrow on the green room. Frames Janklin Vapor. I will be there, green room, tomorrow afternoon. Hashtag shed time. I think it's going to be real fun. I think it's going to be real fun, and I'm real looking forward to it, man. So, tastes like lemonade. It's, it's real, zang, real zangy. Tangy. 
Real tangy. I feel like there's some culotta. I feel like there's some, I feel like I'm going to get some culotta out of this. So let's just give it a shot. Let's have a first uh, inaugural toot, as it were. I, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know what I just vaped. That was real, real interesting. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to do is what I always do when I have a very random liquid tasting. I just want to sit with it for a few toots to kind of like wrap my head around it a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is kill the audio, which hopefully I remember to put it back on. So I'm going to do this. down this flavor man I just can't what's QTBC what is that oh that's that one thing okay no go away I didn't know what that button meant I can't I can't figure out what it is I'm vaping here it's it tastes to me really limey and not like in a British way like in a lime citrus fruit sort of way limey i get a lot of lime it almost it almost tastes like a limeade it tastes like a limeade there's definitely culotta in it it's like a sprite kind of like lemon lime situation really tasty really very refreshing like this is a spectacular summertime vape i can't i don't know there's something else going on in here. It's like, here's how I'm going to describe it. It's like limeade, like lime, like a sweet lime with like a lemon peel back and some culotta in the mix just to just so everybody plays nice. You know, lime, lime, lemon, culotta throughout. It's a very limey, refreshing sort of like summer beveragey type of like, I'm going to vape this while I sit in my Star Trek captain's chair in the pool type of vape. Really good. Dang. Really good. Um, I like that it's not overly sweet. There's definitely, I feel like there's not any sweetener here. There's definitely not any super sweet in this. It's sweet. It's not even approaching my sweetness fence. There's a mythical, mythical, imaginary. There's an imaginary fence I have in my head that liquids can get too close to of sweetness. And if it gets on the fence, then I'm kind of like, that's too sweet. And then if it goes over the fence, too sweet, too sweet. That fresh skater J juice from, uh, oh shit, I said juice. I said it twice. That fresh skater, I was so good, man, the whole vlog, I didn't say it. I said liquid the whole time. That Fresh Skater J liquid from a few years ago was way too sweet. And that is my benchmark for liquids that are just way too fucking sweet. It was like, I used to call it hot sweetness. Just hot sweetness in your mouth. Just warm and sweet. No, 
No like delicate fruit flavors, no culotta, no flavor blending, just sweet and hot right in your mouth. This is not that. I really like this Kennedy drip tank. It's good. This is good. I'm so glad I, I vaped this. I'm so glad I set it up. I'm gonna continue vaping this bottle of liquid. If Aqua Element, if, if I can judge their other liquids by this liquid, I think I can look forward to some of their other liquids because this vintage lemonade, it's like a, I can't even. It's like a lime lemonade, culotta sort of happiness in your mouth. Dang, love being surprised by liquids, just love it. Dude. Dude. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's good. That is a good, good liquid. How much does this liquid cost? Let's do some quick, uh, let's do some quick googly fooey. Let's go to, what's this called? Aqua Element Vapor. Aqua Element Vapor. AquaElement.com. What is your age? What's my age again? Whoops, I'm older than that. Why did I do that? Welcome. All right, Aqua Element, here we go. Uh, yep. Now, let me click. Where'd it go? Trinity. This liquid is called Trinity. So you get a 60 mil, 3 milligram, 15 bucks, 14.99 for a 60 mil, which is kind of lower than the curve. You can get a 120 for 30 bucks. So 120 is 30 bucks, a 60 is 15. It's just good. Trinity Vintage Lemonade from Aqua Element E-Liquid. I wanna see what their other flavors are. Uh, cereal, apple cereal, cinnamon cereal, banana bread. They have a banana bread. All right, dude, we gotta do a like, a banana bread boule bolu face off. We gotta do the Jessica. Banana bread is called Jessica. We're gonna do Jessica boule bolu face off. Raz Citrus Cool Vintage Lemonade Pear Apple Citrus. Slime Time sounds good too, Pear Apple Citrus. That sounds dope. That sounds dope and I've definitely vaped too much. I'm gonna put that down. It was the 12 milligram, you guys. The 12 milligram really messed me up. <sighs> too much, don't lung 12 milligram. All right, well, there you go. Appreciate that Aqua Element e-liquid. Thank you for sending over those liquids and this vintage lemonade is scratching me right where I itch. Really enjoying it. Really very much enjoying it. So what I'm gonna do now is, uh, dang, dude, we got a lot of time left. We might be able to wrap this up. Let's do, uh, let's do favorite comments of the week. Chad right there in the chat vouching for their slime time. That's going to be next. That's going to be next. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place here. Uh, let's do some favorite comments of the week. I want to give another big shout out to Jeremy V. Actually, Jeremy V, can you resend me that, uh, that shared document? Jeremy V not only co collects the timestamps, uh, Jeremy V also collects some favorite comments of the week for me. That's how important Jeremy V is in my life. And I appreciate you, Jeremy V. Uh, first favorite comment of the week. Let's move my stream deck closer. First favorite comment of the week here. Nick, you slid that knife through that beer like a lightsaber through Qui-Gon Jinn. Too soon, man. Too soon. Too soon for that. But I did. I fucking sliced that beer exactly like a lightsaber through Qui-Gon Jinn. <laughs> Second favorite comment of the week. Uh, yo, yo, can we? Oh, yeah. I remember this. Yo, yo, uh, Nick. Can you reshoot the video without that piece of uh, white lint on your black shirt, please? I could not pay attention to anything else. In fact, I don't even know what you just reviewed. We need a do-over. Yeah, I did a review. I don't remember what it was not too long ago. And I was wearing a black t-shirt with just a big piece of white lint right here. The whole, the whole damn thing right here. The whole damn thing. The whole damn thing. What? Why are what? Why was viewer mail playing? Oh, 
Okay, that's okay. Right here, had lint on my shirt the whole time and I was just editing this video and I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it going, fuck. Fuck, that piece of white lint. Fuck. I know, I know. Piece of white lint. I'm sorry, Wavy Baby Productions. <laughs> Third favorite comment of the week here. Kyle, just asking a very random question. Do you enjoy hot dogs? If so, what toppings? So let's get into it. Let's talk, let's talk about hot dogs. I love hot dogs. Me and Casey Pickle are both pretty big hot dog fans. Casey Pickle is a much bigger hot dog fan than I am. I like hot dogs with two ingredients on them. And it's gonna they're gonna sound weird. These are gonna sound like weird ingredients. Hang on. I need to hydrate. I still feel like I vaped too much of that 12 milligram. <sighs> Don't worry. I recycle. I like two ingredients. No, Jeremy V. Relish and mustard? What are you, crazy? Here's the two ingredients I put on my hot dogs. If I'm in a Dodgers game and all they have is Dodger dogs, I do ketchup. I know it's boring, but I like ketchup. Anywhere else, I get relish and nacho cheese. It's just how I roll. I know it's weird. Relish and nacho cheese. Relish and nacho cheese. There's just something about a hot dog when you get that salty hot dog with the sweet relish and like this, this like spicy nacho cheese. Oh my God. It's so good. I, I'm encouraging everybody. This is, this is, this is your homework. This is your homework. Besides continuing to fight for our vape, our right to vape, put pickle relish and nacho cheese on a hot dog. It, 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 Heather, it's not, it doesn't just sound good, it is beautiful. And I have to thank my high school buddy, Luke. My high school buddy, Luke, turned me on to this. We, uh, he used, well, anyway, it doesn't matter. He used to live near a 7-Eleven, and when you're in high school, it's like, oh, what do you do? And walk to the 7-Eleven, right? So we go to 7-Eleven, candy, sodas, whatever, rebellious Christian high schoolers, hot dogs. And we would get 7-Eleven hot dogs, and I saw him putting relish on his hot dog and then I saw him top it off with nacho cheese and I went, Luke, what the crap is wrong with you? And he's like, no, just try it, bro. Just try it. That's how I do everything in my life. People just need to be like, no, bro, just try it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I tried it, never looked back. Never looked back. Never looked back. I promise it's good. If it's not, then I'm sorry, but it's good. Fourth favorite comment of the week. Uh, awesome. Today is my two-year anniversary off the smokes. Thanks to vaping, nothing else worked for me. Success stories. I love them. T-S-K Whirl, congratulations on your two-year vape anniversary. I think that's awesome. Got another comment of the week here. Second to last comment of the week. Kate, I'm sorry. Fuck. Please let me organize your closet. It's driving me crazy. So I'm pretty sure Kate was talking about the uh, my old closet, which... It was, it was a nightmare. And uh, thankfully, Kate, you'll be happy to know that I took that nightmare and I just put it in a new closet. That's it. Nothing got organized, nothing got rearranged. I just took a mess and moved the mess and then threw the mess back in my closet. That's just how I roll. The thing is, I kind of know where a lot of things are. I don't know where everything is, but I kind of know where a lot of things are. I kind of know where a lot of things are, although I still have not found my missing box with vape stuff in it with the Slatra RDA. I had two dead goats in there that I've been dying to vape that I can't find anywhere. I'm hoping to find that, hoping to find that soon. Final favorite comment of the week. Um, I just thought this one was so funny. I'm gonna preface this a little bit. I just thought this one was so funny because of the person's YouTube name. They asked me a question, are you serious or kidding? <laughs> and their name was not sure. I don't, that's hilarious to me. I don't, that's not that funny, is it? That's not comedy. I think that's hilarious. Are you serious or kidding? Not sure. <laughs> his name is not sure. Maybe that's the gag. Maybe that's his comedy routine. Maybe he named himself Not Sure on YouTube just so he could go to people's YouTube videos and ask this question 
just to see if they would get a response. Not sure. That was on the Orchid video. It was a little bit of both. <laughs> a little bit of both. So we're here, dude. We're at the end. We got 15 minutes left in this here vlog. I, I am ready to get into those super chats. Let's do the super chats. Let's super chat. You guys want a super chat? Boom. Super chatting. Yeah, I just really like that bumper. I just really like that bumper because I, I don't know. I just really like that bumper. So let's get in here. Let's get in here, you guys. Really appreciate you guys. All the super chats throughout the vlog. Uh, it's fantastic. It's just fantastic. I think I'm going to do... I don't know. I don't want to spill those beans yet. I, I'm, I'm going to try to do some sort of fundraiser. You know, there. I just want to do some sort of fundraiser to help dad out a little bit. And I don't want to do a GoFundMe because I want to earn it. I don't like, I, I'm not one for charity. I want to earn. I want to earn. So I might be doing a fundraiser soon. We'll see how that goes. Samuel Williams, the founding father. Very gracious of you. Yo, yo back to you, Samuel Williams. Appreciate that. Josh, very gracious of you. Hey, Grim, finally able to catch a live stream. Josh, I hope I didn't let you down. And if I did, I'll try better next time. I mean, I'll definitely try better next week. Andy, very gracious of you. Well, hey there, pretty lady. You, 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 are you flirting with me, Andy? I mean, I'm not going to say, you know, I'm not, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm not flattered, you know. Thank you very much, Andy. I appreciate that. Surf Daddy Nate, very gracious of you. I did not send the beer. Good. So we can eliminate Surf Daddy Nate from the beer thing. Surf Daddy Nate did not send the beer. Very, <laughs> very gracious of you. Appreciate that. Joseph, lifted, love the lifted pinky when you drink. You know, here's the thing. I picked that habit up from Casey Pickle. I picked that habit up from my wife, and I don't know why. I just saw her doing it one day and I picked up my glass and I kind of tossed my pinky out and I was like, nope, this is, I like this. Just going to throw the pinky out when I vape or when I vape, when I drink, who cares? Appreciate that, Joseph. I fur, I've been obsessing over Penn and Teller. Yes, I've been wondering if you have read or listened to any of Penn's books. If so, which ones? Um, the only book I've read from Penn was his book about his sock monkey, um, Socko, Socko, Socko the Sock Monkey. That's the only book of pens I've ever read. I know he has a new book about his weight loss journey. Here's the thing. I am I am an intense Penn and Teller fan. They are my heroes. Penn Gillette, there wouldn't be a Grim Green without a Penn Gillette. I just want to say that. Penn Gillette from Penn and Teller is one of my like truest, truest heroes. And he has never let me down. I've met him multiple times. I love Penn and Teller and I love Penn Gillette specifically. He, he was, he was instrumental in, in my life in like shaping who I am and who I became. It's just, it's just Penn. And I, I haven't read all of his books, but I used to listen to, he used to have a, a radio show on CBS radio, free FM, the Penn Gillette show that was an hour long. And then after that, he started Penn's Sunday School, which is an incredible podcast. I just love Penn and Teller. They're my heroes. They're my heroes. That's all it is, Eifer. Appreciate that. Michelle Lynn, Bernie said you have to give <laughs> some of your money back. <laughs> For those of you that don't know and have not seen the, the That's What She Said show, they're not on tonight, but if, if when they're on again, got to check out Michelle Lynn's Bernie Sanders impression. She does a rock and funny Bernie Sanders impression. Michelle Lynn, stay lit, fam. That's all I have to say to you, Michelle. <laughs> Andy, one more time. Somehow I missed that your dad was up in Santa Rosa. I graduated from high school there. Yeah, dude, Santa Rosa is a beautiful area. Just love Santa Rosa. Love going up there, man. Love it. Bradley, very gracious of you. My birthday may have been Tuesday, but I wanted to share some dollars I got with you and your dad. You are great, Nick. You have no idea how much you've impacted my life. Bradley, bro, bro, thank you. I mean, thank you. You're welcome and thank you and you're welcome and thank you. It's it's a two-way street, man. You, you, people that, that say, you got me off of cigarettes. You got me into vaping. You helped me quit cigarettes. And it's like, I have the easy job. I get to have fun and be on YouTube and, and fiddle with vape gear and discuss vape gear and talk shop. You, you had to do the hard part, man. You had to take that step. You had to get the vape. You had to do the hard part, Bradley. So very gracious of you. Uh, thank you so much, bro. Thank you. 
Lump, Lumpo Funworth. Very gracious of you. Hey, Grim, huge fan. I just want to say hello. I didn't smoke cigs, but at 18, Texas legal age, I had a two cigar a day habit and happily vaping almost 21. Congratulations. You know, cigars, I don't, I don't know why people say that vaping could possibly be a gateway to cigarettes, but I will tell you what is a gateway to cigarettes and it is cigars, man. I was a cigar guy. I was a cigar guy for years and then I noticed that I was just inhaling my cigars because I was addicted to nicotine and then I just started buying cigarettes and still continuously smoking cigars. Cigars. So congratulations on giving up your two cigar a day habit. That's for real. Jenny, Janae? Jenny or Janae? Jenny or Janae? Janae, not a beer drinker. Uh, I'm import vodka kind of girl. Oh. Okay, fancy vodka. Sure, that's fine. You know, I've never done anything other than beer on the vlog. Just haven't. Chris, very gracious of you. One year smoke free this month. Fuck yeah, Chris. Awesome. God, I love that. I love hearing that. Zach, pizza beard. What are you doing, bro? Missed a few vlogs, but caught the replays. Work has been crazy. Here's my catch up contribution for Padre Grimm. Hope all is well and best wishes. Lost my dad four years ago yesterday. Cherish the time you guys have. That is all. Don't make me, don't make me cry, Zach. Don't make me cry. I'm so sorry for your loss. I do. I, I, I genuinely cherish all the time we have. All things considered, I cherish it. I love spending time with my dad. I just, I just love it. And that's all that matters. Dad's all that matters right now. That's all that matters. With dad and pickle. Dad and pickle. That's all I'm focused on right now. Michael, very gracious of you. Gen Mod, Valerian filled with watermelon. I want to do some, uh, I'm going to do some three milligram watermelon because I have only had watermelon in 12 milligram. That's crazy, right? 12 milligram only. I want to try it in three. I want to blow some dope ass clouds with some watermelon. Joe, very gracious of you. Was watching, very gracious of you. I was watching Dr. Strange, almost missed you. What's popping, Grim? Praying for your family. Joe, I really appreciate that. Really very much appreciate that. And you can definitely watch Doctor Strange instead of me. Doctor Strange is a great movie. Doctor Strange might be my favorite uh, Marvel movie. Let's get through these. Oh, there's a bunch, you guys. Thank you so much. Pot Vapes. Hello, Mr. Green. I want to ask if you could give my Insta, pot underscore vapes, a quick little shout out. I just started with it, but more important, all the best to your father. Very gracious of you, Pot. Appreciate that. P-O-T-T underscore vapes. Go check him out. At least go peruse. You know, I'm not saying follow the guy, but at least go give him a shot. You know, give him a shot. Just give it a try. YDB Gaming. Not going to lie, Grim. A little scared about what's going to happen to vape in 10 months. I use nicotine for my ADHD allergic to the meds. Yeah. Look, here's what I'm going to say. A lot of people are doing everything they can to make sure that vaping stays around. Vaping is going to stay around. It's not going anywhere. Vaping is a worldwide phenomenon. It's not going anywhere. They're going to try their best to run from the science. They're going to try their best to make it as difficult as possible for you to get vapes. They're going to make it, they're going to do their best to make it as difficult as possible for manufacturers to release products and release liquids. They're going to make it difficult, but it's not going anywhere. And if, and, if, and, and if we can get all on the same page and we can really focus our efforts, we, we, we will not only not have vaping go anywhere, but we will be celebrating vaping in the United States. Celebrating vaping. Celebrating record low smoking rates. That's what we should be celebrating. Appreciate that, YDB. Vig I mean, and, I'm, and, you know, my heart goes out to you. You need it. Nicotine is a thing you need. It's like you talk to people that use it recreationally. I use it recreationally because I was addicted to cigarettes, but there's people like YDB Gaming, like Fig fucking Ramsey, who need it. It's part, they need it. They use nicotine for more than just enjoyment. They use it for more than just, you know, their dependence on it. It's important. I'm really, can't wait for that. You don't know nicotine movie to come out, man. Really can't wait. So, so crenates, very gracious of you. Bernie 2020, feel the burn. Yeah, here's the thing. I like Bernie Sanders, man. I just can't help it. I am a, I'm a freedom guy. I'm a libertarian guy. And I listen to I listen to Bernie Sanders on the Joe Rogan podcast. And he just he, he really struck a chord with me. You know, and one of the things he said on that podcast that really gives me hope, and it's not that I believe all of Bernie's ideas and I'm not a fan of socialist programs like that. 
But what Bernie said on the Joe Rogan podcast was he said, I'm a man of science and I believe in science. And that was enough for me to go vaping, Bernie, vaping. Let's look at the science on vaping. You say you're a man of science. You say you follow science. Bernie, vaping is helping countless hundreds of thousands of smokers quit traditional combustible tobacco cigarettes. They are proven effective, twice as effective as NRT on the market. This is from, you can, you, can, you can look this up, New England Journal of Medicine, the Royal College of Physicians, the United Kingdom, opening vapes in hospitals, opening vape shops in hospitals, encouraging all of their citizens to switch to vaping as soon as possible. Bernie, the science is there. You're a man of science. You believe in science. Now let's, let's prove it. Let's prove it, Bernie. That's how you're going to get my vote, Bernie. That's how you're going to get my vote. Matt Sinnott, sorry, I didn't mean to get so soapboxy there, but I, I get worked up about, you know, vaping. Matt Sinister, very gracious of you. Are you going to Iron Maiden September 14th? I can't wait. I don't know, but yes, I didn't know that that was happening. I'm pretty sure you told me about that. I'm going to go. Let's go to Iron Maiden, dude. Ambivalent Chaos, very gracious of you. Time for a second American revolution. Boogaloo, y'all. Boogaloo. I don't know what the boogaloo means, but it is. There's a political revolution happening. There has been an awakening. Menthol burrito. <laughs> Genie. Menthol burrito. Minty menthol burrito. You know what? I have minty menthol burrito right here. In fact, I have this cup. I have this Peabody's coffee mug that I keep all of my pods in. All my pods. And this is a great way to store my pods because I go through here and I'll just grab one out every once in a while. And I especially like using it after they've sit for a little bit because you kind of, you get to know your pod a little bit better. It's like, ooh, this sat for like two days. Gurgly, gurgly, sloppy mess. Where is it? Aha! Welcome to Menthol Burrito. Just as bad. Still just as bad. Good Lord. Logan, German sausage jokes aren't funny. In fact, they're the worst. Ah, W-U-R-S-T. Worst, like liver worst. I get it. That joke was not wasted on me. Lumpo Funworth, just joined the Cool Kids Club. Yo, yo, welcome. Welcome. Well, let me be the first to say yo, yo, and welcome. Hit me up on that Patreon. I'll get you added to the Instagram account. It might take me a few days, but I can do it. Celestial, pff, Celestial Vapes. You don't, you don't owe me anything, Celestial Vapes. There's a shout out for you. Thank you for those hearts, Celestial Vapes. Shane Cole, yo, yo, it's vlog day and my 45th birthday. I have a nice 13.9% beer to go along with it. Cheers. Hashtag vodka pocket. Hell yeah, Shane. Hell yeah, Shane. Happy 45th birthday to you, sir. The Crystal Kid, the original recoil, the original recoil is the absolute best RDA. Yeah, I'm going to screen capture this and just fucking make that my desktop wallpaper. The original recoil is the absolute best RDA. Thank you, the Crystal Kid. You don't know how much that means to me. You have no idea. We were just talking about this on the patron stream. Like that's that's amazing. Max B, very gracious of you. Got to go to work, Nick. Yo, yo, have a great stream. I would say have fun at work, but there's not a lot of fun to be had at work. I'm sure you can find fun at work. Hope you have a good night at work, Max B. Appreciate that. Dr. Pennsylvania, yo, yo, fam. Love you. Love to Nick and Casey. Love to you, Dr. Pennsylvania. Really appreciate that, bro. And then we got Mr. J. Hayes. Very gracious of you. Please say drip tank again. Drip tank. Jay Hayes, Jay Hayes, you're not still here anymore, but Jay Hayes, release a drip tank. You should release a drip tank. And you could be like, there's only been one other drip tank ever created and I wanted to create a better drip tank. <laughs> drip tank, drip tank, drip tank. Joe, very gracious of you. Hit that sheet. I did. I did and I regret it. Very gracious of you. Steve, Grim, uh, my first live was last week and you almost took your pants off for me. Needless to say, you made me feel very welcome, helped me through a hard time. Shout out to my peeps at TV Vapes in Cat Catonsville, MD, Maryland. Catonsville, Maryland. All right, Steve, well, welcome. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog. 
I love it when people are like, this is my first vlog. And I'm like, dude, welcome. We just, all we have is fun over here. There's no way to not have fun. Angela, keep on vaping. I will, Angela. You keep on vaping as well. Very gracious of you. The Medusa was a drip tank RDTA. Was it? Well, just a drip tank. Am I, have I been wrong this whole time that there was only one ever drip tank? Did they call it a drip tank? Did they say this is the Medusa drip tank or did they say this is the Medusa RDTA? I'd just be very interested in that. Angela, wow, very gracious of you. Thank you, Nick, for what you do. Angela, at this point, it's really all I know how to do. I just wanna, I just wanna convert smokers and then I wanna defend their right to not smoke cigarettes. I feel like that's not too much to ask. <laughs> Jeannie, your beer and my vodka, cheers. There you go, empty glass, Jeannie, empty glass. Cheers to you. Parental advisory, I say fuck a lot. As I write this, my only dual battery mod just shorted now, just shorted out. Now it continuously auto fires. Now I have to figure out how I'm gonna get a new mod. No, here, I have one for you. Don't bother with that shit. Here, I got a blue V, I got this. This has your name on it. Parental advisory. This is for you. DM me, email me, get a hold of me, bro. I'm gonna write your name on here. No, I'm just gonna write fuck. That's how I know it's for you because you say it a lot, okay? So I want you to email me and, and I'll ship this to you. You can't be without a mod, that's stupid. N no fan of mine is not gonna be vaping. Anthony, very gracious of you. Glad you like the purple rain. Sorry, it was 12 milligram. Nick, that you have no reason apologizing. That was 100% my fault. Proud to be a part of the Grim Army. Love the vlog. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> Everyone needs to vape what they love. Tanks, pods, or drip tanks. Anthony, how, you, your wisdom, I appreciate that, Anthony, very much. I, for one more time, might find an OG Aegis on my vapor store. That is a good call. Maybe check my vapor store if you want an Aegis original. Lou Gora, very gracious of you. Don't want to bum out the vlog, but I had to put Arthur down this week. The vlog is helping cheer me up. Thanks, Nick. Lou, I already said it. I love you, bro. Uh, your package is in the mail. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for your loss. That just, I, I hate that. I hate that so much, you know, and I, I, I cried in the car and this is the dumbest thing that I ever have cried about. But I cried in the car on the way home because I was listening to the Joe Rogan podcast with Kevin Smith and they spent like an hour talking about dogs and it was just happy dog stories, some sad dog stories and Joe Rogan was telling a story about rescuing dogs and I just, like humans, we don't deserve dogs. We do not deserve dogs and they just... They get me right in the feels every time, Lou. I love you, bro, and, and, and I, hope, I hope I was able to cheer you up even if it was just a little bit. Michael, very gracious of you. Could I get a shout out to my girlfriend, Bridget? Bridget, yes, if I say her name correctly. Bridget, that's a shout out from me, from, from Michael. Awkward, awkward. Bradley, uh, very gracious of you. My brother never makes it home for the vlog, but his dumbass law... Wait, what? My brother never makes it home for the vlog, but his dumbass locked his keys in his car, so I hauled to get him so he could make it home for a shout out? Definitely. Even though you locked your keys in your car and your, <laughs> your brother called you a dumbass, I don't even know your name, dumbass brother, so I'm gonna have to call you dumbass brother, but dumbass brother, there's a shout out for you, bro. There is a shout out for you. Be thankful you got Bradley as your brother to, to come bail you out when you need it. That's what brothers are for. Shane, so gracious of you. Forward my email to the Aegis guy. I got one for him. Oh, kick ass. Kick ass. I love this. I love this. Let's help each other out. I'll, I'll get you two connected and we can exchange some Aegises. Z -z -z. Frames Janklin, that's right. Yo, yo, I catch you tomorrow night on the green room with Frames Janklin Vapor. Hashtag shed time. Stoked for that. David, very gracious of you. Have you tried Fizzy Lemonade by Gas Glass Basics? I think you'll love the entire line. Glass Basics. Is this the same glass that did the glass mods? Oh, Glass Vapor. All right, I got them bookmarked. I will definitely check that out, David. Very, thank you so much. James, Classic Lemonade is made with lemons and limes. They made it with just lemons and became popular with restaurants. Lemons and limes. That's what I'm getting out of this. Still, still good. 
J Dub Vapes. Check Patreon. What? Oh, man, I lost my spot. Check Patreon. I've got liquid I want to send. Okay, I will, J Dub. I'll get on that. First thing tomorrow, all the patron messages are getting answered. Boosh. Jessica, very gracious of you. But what kind of dog? What kind of dog? Whose dog? Lou's dog or my dog? My dog is a schnauzer mix. So she, she's a schnauzer collie mix. So she's smart and energetic. So you're buying everyone hot dogs now, Zach? Yes, I am. Very gracious of you. Uh, hot dogs on me. Next round's on me. Uh, Jeannie, very good. Here's a super chat for you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, Jeannie. One more from Eifer. You need to listen. You need to listen or read God No. I can share a copy of the audio book. Hey, that might be really cool. I'm into it. I'm into it. I want to read Penn Jillette's books. Uh, remember Genie as an I dream of Genie. Yes, Genie, Genie, Genie. Thank you. Very gracious of you. Quick Caliber said nothing, but you definitely deserve a shout out for that super chat. Really appreciate it. For British eyes only, how's the slug been treating you? I know Bogan loves his, and now people just assume I have dozens of these lying around to sell. <laughs> yo, yo, retro vapes. Uh, it's been good. It's been good. I don't have a topper for it. I'm going to put, I'm going to put that, that doesn't matter. I'm going to change some stuff around. I have a plan for the slug. I want to use it some more before I send it back to you. Do I have a time limit on there, British eyes? You, you going to give me a, a cutoff date? It's okay. I'll get it back to you. Shout out to the vape father, Eric, Vinyl and Vapor. He is, he is the vape father. That's awesome. I'll definitely, I'll shout out Eric anytime, anytime, day or night. For British eyes only. Almost forgot, I hit up Dwayne about anarchist for my behemoth coils. I know he's a busy guy and I don't want to pester him, but could you reach out to him? Look, I'll do my best. Dwayne, Dwayne is busy. Dwayne's so busy, he doesn't even have time for me sometimes. And that's okay because he's just a busy guy. I'll do my best for you. Zach, forgot, do you want my top side back? No, what? No, if I sent you a top side, that's your top side now. That's your top side to vape forever, Zach. Forever, just keep it until it explodes. Not explodes, I didn't mean to say that. Va <laughs> Fuck. Keep it until it stops working. <laughs> Shouldn't have said explodes. Jessica, very gracious of you. Beef or good old fashioned crap dog? Yeah, crap dog, crap dog right here. Doesn't matter. Crap dogs. I'll eat a crap dog. I'll eat a beef hot dog. I'll eat a crap dog. Don't even care. <laughs> Don't even care about the crap dogs. Yeah, but uh, I'm telling you guys, next time, relish nacho cheese. Put it on there. Eat it. Love it. Eat it and love it. Love it and eat it and eat it and love it because I think I love it and I eat it. And when I eat it, I love it. Zach? Oh, it stopped working? Oh, it stopped working, then I don't know. Put it on a shelf. What are you trying to say? You want another one? You trying to say you want another another top side? <laughs> I don't have any more. I would if I could, but I, I don't I don't have one. I don't have one, bro. <laughs> Keep it. All right. Well, let me uh we're at the end. We're at the end of the vlog here. Um I'm gonna just take one quick look. Make sure I didn't forget anything. I had a retro vape that I didn't get to do because all right, we'll talk about that next week. We'll talk about that next week. I just really don't want to forget anything. So I'm going to grab this right here, this Falcon kit. I'm going to, I'm going to clean up. I'm going to do the damn thing. Uh, the vape team is on in 20 minutes. Uh, that's what she said is not happening tonight. And, uh, Eifer wants a hot dog right now. Go get a hot dog, Eifer. Everybody go get a hot dog. Everybody go, everybody go get a hot dog and put nacho cheese and put fucking pickle relish on it. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. We're all done with the vlog. This has been fantastic. This is literally my favorite day of the week and I look forward to it like you guys can't even imagine. So thank you so much for loving it. Thank you so much for being a part of it. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to say what I always say, you guys. We got to defend our right to vape. No matter what is in your hand, let's all, let's all keep on vaping.